Hello everybody, it's Too Old For Toys here. Testing, testing, one, two, three. We have two mics. Yes. So I, sh I should be speaking into your left ear and Junior. Hello. Okay, your microphone's working as well. Okay. Ah, what do we have here in front of us? We have a GBM base Gundam you can see here. It's a high grade and it's still in its cellophane wrapping. We bought it at us. Careful. There we go. And it's off. And the us T sticker is gone. This looks like an RX 78 2 to me. Yes. Is, is it? Gundam. But sadly, it isn't. GBN Base Gundam. What, what is this? A GMU Mobile. But it looks like a Gundam. Yet, I have the feeling it is not. Look at the V-fin. And the, the slats on the side of his face has got these, these little... What's going on? There's no V but, um, on his... I think it's pretend... Well, this is the Bill Divers series. So there must be something to do... Because this is a model kit, right? It's not a mobile yeah. suit. And in the model kits, often this little V is represented by a sticker with a V on it. And okay. it's easier to do when you don't have the V on it. So, hmm. What else is different about this one? Well, the head, the head sculpt is very different. It looks like something out of the 90s. It was like a F90, something like that. Uh, the artwork is, anyway. Also... What's wrong with the beam rifle? It doesn't have, like... A little circle thing, mm -hmm. the yellow bit on top, mm -hmm. and it has like a, a magazine thing on it. Well, I think I think the original RX-78 has a magazine that wiggles around, it's like yeah. a handle. I'm, I don't mind that. It's Double definitely very, very poseable, this one. It's got huge knee joints there, double joints there. Some massive beam sabers. Look at all these crazy poses it can do. And it seems to have a optional motorbike and angel wings. Okay. That's what you're into. What else can we see here? The color is a bit strange. It is, this seems to be like a kind of uh, a pinky color to the white. Yeah, I like the blue and the yellow. It's a bit neon. Is it really neon? Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Yes. Open. Oh. Hey. Are we focusing properly? Lots hmm. of focusing is a bit off on this. Neon colouring. That is super bright neon yellow. Put that down. The white is normal, I think. It's slightly, slightly grey. Mm. The blue is definitely a very bright blue. But not, not quite neon, close. And the reds is a kind of pinky. Hello, do we have our ultraviolet light? Go and get our ultraviolet oh, torch. Okay. Pause. Grace for for the weapons. Come on, test it out. Check the yellow. Uh, um, the camera's going a bit weird in this one, but yeah, it well, is. Yeah, it's fluorescing under ultraviolet. Does the grey do anything? Nope. Beam sabers. I expect so. Mm, a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. That is definitely very bright pink. Right, let's get the cellophane off the other ones. Oh, look at this. It's the smallest sticker sheet ever. I was kind of expecting um, uh, these bits to be um, stickers, but I guess the they pockets. aren't. Good. Poly caps. Do these fluoresce as well? Uh, yes, I suppose they are. They turn out a bit of blue, a bright blue, under ultraviolet. So, where's the sticker sheet? 
Why do we get two pairs of eyes? Hmm. Maybe it's just for extras, because nobody really wants an eyeless Gundam. But definitely no V on the crotch piece. There's a little I for the top of the helmet. And what's number one? Oh, don't tell me that's the nose. Mm. Where's the face? The face piece is there, and there's a little hole for the... No, it's definitely not the nose. Let's have a look at the instructions then. We've not watched the show yet, have we? Yeah. Well, not the latest episodes. Anyway, ooh! Colour on the... Um... One side. Will it be colour on the other? Yeah, no. Yeah, that's black and white. Mystery solved. Sticker number one and two goes on the helmet. It's actually the front camera, which does a wrap around. Okay. And also the back camera. So just, just that. That's not bad for the entire kit to only have two. Sti uh, I'll forgive the eyes. Eyes are always usually stickers. But just the front and back camera. There's no. Um, you know, that horrible wraparound that goes over the jewel in the front of his V-fin. Yes. So we've been spared that, that's good. Okay. Well, I think we need to catch up on this Gundam build. I, I want to know what this is on about, because it's not the... Can you read that, read that bit out? There's something on the box, some blurb. Um... Guard Gumplers are deployed by the GBN administration, which are additions of the GBN guard frames with Gundam type armor. This additional armor uses newly developed armor system known as Gain Armor, which are special units built into it that change the qualities of the MS or boost, or boost its qualities, capabilities, sorry. The characteristics of this specific Gumpler have been boosted to match the capabilities of the RX-78-2 Gundam. This edition is mainly used by Game Master Class members, high Game Master Class members, high class members of the administration to directly intervene in GBN. Uh, I can't read the com. I can't see the commas. It's that small, and it's capable of superhuman actions and strengths shown by Armor Ray in the Mobile Suit Gundam, impressing and exciting all divers. What? A long piece of writing. I think this is a GN Mobile Suit, and that's been inspired by the original Gundam Seventy Nine series. No cross. On the shield. No, oh, that's true. Anything else on your piece of paper you wanted to ask? Um, why did we just stop recording for so long? Okay, I, actually, because we've got separate microphones on, I think it, it it picks up mostly of our voice. But I don't know if our viewers can hear outside. There's some construction work going on, and it yeah. makes it makes a huge racket, and I can't stand it. This is one reason why we haven't been making videos. What's this? Why is there a blue Bandai logo? Since when did they stop giving us a red Bandai logo? We've been changing things whilst we've not been looking. Mm. I like the red Bandai logo more. I don't suppose it matters that much. Mm, I guess. Will that do for today? Yes. I'm going to build this one. I'm sorry I didn't build the SD. I've got it somewhere. I don't know where it is. I was making a I was going to make a build video of it, but it just vanished. I don't know. Mum was tidying up and put it away somewhere. I'm sure it's somewhere in the house. But um, let's do this one instead. Oh, this, you wanted to show this as well, did you? Yes. What else did we have whilst we've been away? Where did we get this from? We got it from um, the Gundam base. Yep. So this was. is a special edition. I think it's a, um, it's a pure white, so you painter's can do edition. yeah. You can. It's a, that's why it's called the painter's edition, and uh, the 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 gappy bits, you can paint whatever color you like because they are a clear color, right? They're clear, transparent, yes. so you could have them clear, clear blue if you wanted to, or you make them clear rainbow unicorn edition. <laughs> Shall we have a look? Just a quick. Quick look. Oh, it's like it really is crystal clear. I thought it might be frosted, but no. That's nice. It's 
it's mostly grey. Oh, it's got white polycaps. Clear white polycaps or a cloudy white, milky coloured polycap. You can polycap. even paint the polycaps, which is nice to know. Look at all those clear parts. Mm. Anyway, mm. everyone's seen what unicorns look like. <laughs> right, that'll do for today. Okay. Let's hope we'll come back. Soon, I hope. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.